What's up, guys? And happy time zone. That's something that uh, came up in one of my live streams pretty eh, not too long ago. But uh, I like I like the idea of that because that says, hey, whatever the time zone you're in and whatever time zone you're watching it, happy whatever that is. So today we are back in Odium as the sun goes down because I plan very, very well. <laughs> we are just flying over and man, this place is looking absolutely amazing. I am loving the way that this is really coming together. Now, what we're going to be doing today, um, we've got kind of some plans, uh, and we might have a little visitor um, later on in this episode. We will see. I don't know. Um, but this is going to be a fairly larger episode. Uh, l the last time I was, I was here, we talked about how it would be a larger episode. Um, but we're not going to be doing the same thing that we had talked about. Um, there was an issue with me not getting enough sleep, and I actually slept through the the time. Sorry, Kai. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to make some more of these houses, and we're going to be doing a little bit of some newer houses on the other side of town um, to kind of symbolize, hey, this is kind of the older edge. This is the... This is where, you know, the original settlements were, the original, like, homesteads and everything on this half of the town. And then over here, we're going to try and put in some new generic houses, kind of, you know, similar to this, only in the new, uh, the more of the 1800s uh, colonial style. So, that's the plan today. We're going to be putting in a lot of houses. Uh, because we really want to fill out this village. It feels really small. I mean, this that's a large, a very large um, city hall. That's a, a fairly good-sized customs house. We've got a nice-sized church. We've got a nice-sized schoolhouse. You know, we've got some larger houses. We've got a really nice police house over here. And then we've got a really nice, large dock area. But we don't have very many houses. I mean, we've got kind of these more of the richer people uh, houses is how I'm going to... I mean, you've got the uh, the original founders, the Sibley house. You've... I don't remember the David... Or the Corwin house over there is, I think, what um, Knight was building. We've got... Uh, this is the uh, the Seven Gables house, which uh, one, one peak is a gable. And then we've got the... Uh, Andrew Safford style house. And then we've also got a house over there and then the uh um I can't think of I am so bad with this today guys. Um anyways, we don't have very many generic houses and I feel like this would be a fairly larger uh province more m more closer to a city for for what we're we've got going on with the town hall. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, and we're going to kind of expand a little bit out more this way. We will, I will talk to, uh, Protos and Kaiseri and see about maybe if there would be a path that kind of goes between these houses or connects to that over there and comes around this way. We will see. I don't know exactly what, uh, the plan is for that, but I'm going to go ahead and get some paths, uh, not some paths, some houses laid down and we'll see exactly where we're going to be building these houses. I do want to expand a little bit over closer to the uh the farmhouse um so it's not as far away from us um over here and yeah that's the plan um i'm going to go ahead and get to work guys so i will be right back all right guys i am back and uh let's see here let me get this stuff all set up here we've got a few houses uh laid out and i was talking to oh excuse me um i was talking to protos and he said that they're about done with the paths, but we can add more uh, if need be. So what I'm probably going to do is add a few more paths. I want to stay away really from that, but I do want to add a path over here that kind of goes off this way. And then maybe connects up w with a bridge over that way. Um, I don't know exactly how uh, we want. We'll get with Wallace at some point and discuss that possible. We might be able to bring a path over this way and have a bridge that kind of crosses the river 
uh, like right here at a diagonal towards the house. I don't know how he wants to do it, uh, or if he even wants to do it, because it kind of goes down to that dock area. But uh, yeah, so that's we'll we'll get with him later. Um, but yeah, we've got a house lined up right here, which I was thinking we would have just kind of a corner pathway, nothing too big, going right off over here and have a little. Um, the entrance might actually be this side here. We'll take these away and kind of do that a little bit. So it, it'll be like right there or in the middle of the house. I don't know. Then we've got this guy up here, which uh, again, just um, it'll probably be right here is where we want the entrance to be. Just kind of lining up pretty darn well. And I cannot activate my elytra. There we go. And we'll fly up here. We got this house right here, which will be right there as the entrance. And then I've also laid out, um, I was thinking a house right here. Um, I don't know exactly how I want. This is going to be more the 1800s style. And then I was also considering doing one up here on the hill a little bit, like right here. Maybe pulling back the hill a little bit. But, uh... Maybe. I don't, I haven't completely decided. This may just be kind of a tree area. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the thought process as far as how that stuff will go. Alright, so we got uh, three houses built, and uh, I think it's looking pretty darn good. It's starting to really fill out this uh, this community here. Uh, we still need to put on the... Whoa, holy cow. <laughs> we still need to put on the uh, um, fireplace, the chimneys, and all that, uh, but I think it's looking it's looking pretty darn good. Now, um, what, I just, or what I kind of did was I think what we're going to do is bring this path kind of this way. And what I would like to do is kind of wrap it around, go up this direction, just kind of angling it and crossing this part right here. And then making a turn and heading that way uh, towards the, the other path. And then this should all hook up pretty darn nicely. Um, we will get some, ooh. Oop. And I'll just come along this way and hook up with the main path over here. I think that will be good. We could probably add some on the inside, on the outside of that. And then that way we, uh, nerd, is actually going to be putting down some uh, trees 
uh, and he's going to extend this forest out this way closer to the city. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to lay out, uh, we have the path, and I'm going to kind of see exactly how thick the path is. Um, that way we can uh, kind of choose exactly where we're going to put these houses uh, without really getting them too close to the path. So um, we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, okay, so nine. And we'll act like this wherever it is. This is the center block. So this might be a little close, but it's it's fine. Um, it'll be okay. We could always, we can move this over if, if need be. But I think this will be a good path coming over here. Uh, we can add in some more houses, some more of these houses, and it'll look a lot more like a community. I'm really excited to get working on that. What I'm going to do is lay out the actual cobblestone foundation of all these houses. Um, and we won't worry about the, uh, the kind of newer stuff, uh, quite yet because, uh, we want to, um, kind of get these understanding where they're going to be. Uh, we will though, by the end of the episode, we will make at least one of those new houses. That way we can, uh, see, uh, exactly how it's going to look and where we're going to be putting them. So we will also be putting in the, uh, the foundations for a couple of those and kind of laying out the paths that way when uh, I get the some help, um, which M. Wallace has uh, graciously, very graciously offered to help. And uh, so we'll get some help and we'll know exactly where the houses are going to be laid out, where some paths are going to be. And we'll work on all that and make it look just more like a, a bustling, bustling city. So. I am going to take a nap as it is becoming night, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and we've gotten a lot of work done, and I don't really want to look over there because there's some spoilers. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, so we got these houses done up. Uh, I also laid out path work uh, in Diorite, which I'll probably end up doing in the next episode. We're going to try to mimic this as best as possible. Um... But uh, I did talk to Wallace, and we are going to uh, be crossing the river right here. Sorry for, so, sorry for the uh, the spoilers, but we're going to be crossing the river here, and we're going to be doing a bridge that it was is broken on the near bank over here, mainly because we're thinking, well, if the citizens did not want what's happening over there to happen over here, they would break this bridge so that nothing could cross it very easily. So that's what we're, uh, we're, we're going to consider with that, that bridge there. And he, he said that was a, a good idea and I, I'm really excited to work on it. So we got three houses made up. Um, I'm going to lay out the, uh, the, um, foundations out here a little bit more. But one thing that I have been doing and I'm really excited about it, uh, mainly because it's, it's something that I think actually turned out a lot better than I was expecting it to. So if we come out here, before it was it was not this flat. I went and did a lot of terraforming. And I actually made this nice flat area. We might be able to put a park in here or something. I don't I don't quite know. But what I'm going to do is bring this path and just bring it off this way. Come up this way and come around the back end of this and maybe have a path going off that direction, having a few houses, some of the newer style, um, which is a very shallow roof, which I might have to redesign my roof because of that. Ooh, that's fine. That's fine. So the path will come around back here. It makes sense because we've got some doors and this might be a little like seating area. But uh, this was a massive hole in the ground, and I decided to put a little pond here. And uh, we might have, you know, some seating area. This would be kind of the the beautification project for uh, for our, the city. The city hall members, the, the people that run the city, would say, Hey, we need to make our city more attractive for future inhabitants. So what they would do, or what they... My, my thought process is they would build kind of parks and, you know, make the area look beautiful to try and convince people against the witchcraft uh, to come and, and settle. 
So they would really try to make this as beautiful as possible. So we're going a completely different route than some of the other builds, especially over in that direction. And uh, I believe even Knight's build over, over there. But we're going the opposite direction for the sheer reason to... Um, to kind of show a different side of this of this province, um, at least in my thought process. If you guys uh, like that idea, then uh, obviously we will keep it. But we can always we can always corrupt some of these houses too, uh, if if need be. But I was thinking we could have you know maybe another path coming off this way, having a house out back here, and you know I'll be laying down some of the foundations. And basically, what I'll be doing is just setting it up like so, you know, with the four corners that way. Um, wow, that was awful. <laughs> but uh, I'll be doing it that way because the the actual foundation, the brickwork, is actually not exactly this. So I want to have that laid out so we know exactly what's going on. I don't have any signs to claim that as my area. But I already told everybody that I'm using some diorite to mark out some paths. But yeah, so we'll we'll probably have another house over here, another house right back here. We want to stick with the same theme. We don't want them to be super close. Um, and and the idea is during that time period, especially in the new colonies and stuff, they did not really want to build super close to each other unless they were in a major city. And this is not a major city, or at least uh, in, in my thought process, it's kind of turning out to be kind of a a larger city in comparison to uh Enderwood Hollow. So, but yeah, so we're going to try and mimic this in the next episode. Um, I'm going to go through and finish up and do some more laying out, you know, foundations so that we can see exactly where these extra houses are going to go. And, uh, I talked to Wallace and we're going to be doing an episode together. I don't know when it will be. It will be before the end of this. So don't, don't worry. <laughs> don't, don't worry at all. I'm really excited to, uh, to do a little bit of building with them. We're going to be mimicking the these houses off in that direction. And then the new style of houses um, back uh, here. So that's, that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and do some more work. And we'll come back with maybe some more houses laid out. And I might even build one. Uh, so that we kind of get an idea of what this is going to look like. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we have got our generic houses uh, kind of laid out. These are all the 1600 style uh, houses over in this area. Now Nerd's going to fill in this area with woods and I'm going to make sure that he knows that uh, having it come as long as it, there's a good enough room between the path, having it come out this way is going to be more than fine. Um, I think it's going to add quite a bit, especially if we have some houses, you know, that's in the actual wooded area. So that's going to be pretty darn cool, especially if we get some some major trees out in this area between houses and everything. So it's going to be a very cool area once he's got that all finished up. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Um, we're going to leave most of those houses and most of these houses for uh, our time with um, uh, Wallace. M. Wallace is going to help us out. But uh, one thing I do want to... Oh, I don't have any of the stuff I need, of course. One thing I want to do is build one of these houses on camera. And I think since we're over here, we're going to just go ahead and do this one. Um, it's... I really like the design. I'm really excited uh, for it. So, let's see. We're probably going to need more than this for bricks. So we'll have to run over and grab some real fast. Okay. The big thing is going to be stairs. We use a lot of stairs in this design. So uh, let's get rid of some of these. Let's see, dies. You and you and you can go in there and you can go in there. And I'm done with diorite. And for the most part, we're done with cobble. I don't think we're going to really use that. And then I'll throw these buckets into ores because they need to be done. All right, so let's pick up some more bricks here. That should be enough. Um, 
I mean, hopefully we have enough quartz. If we don't have enough quartz, then um, I will uh, gra grab some off camera. So you guys don't have to worry about or watch me go through all that. It's going to be close. Um, we'll see. Hopefully we have enough. All right. So it's going to be the same basic design for these uh, these houses here. As far as everything's concerning. Oops. One thing that is different though is these corners are not going to be the um, fences. Well, because the bricks don't have a wall or you know there's no wall brick or brick wall which is kind of funny but uh oh well these are actually going to be slightly different and we'll we'll do that once we kind of get a little bit farther in here um okay i think we go up five if i remember correctly I really need to have, you know, screenshots of everything <laughs> when I'm when I'm doing this on camera. It's kind of funny because I I, I never have oops, enough going on. I th think yeah. This sounds right. All right, so then here's where the really cool part is, and this is where I need to come over here, and I don't have my, oh, there it was, my crafting table. So we're going to make a bunch of stairs, and the reason is going to be pretty, pretty awesome, at least in my opinion. I think this should be enough for now. We'll have to make a bunch more for the rest of these houses. But we come up here like so. And we actually are going to have this ledge all the way around the house. And it's going to start right at uh, roof level. So it, it's going to look like there's kind of a gutter system, which I really like. And it kind of ties into that little part there. Um, I think it ties in fairly well. Okay. There we go, and continue on. Bye, Desert Rat. <laughs> he's doing a fantastic job out at the uh, the farmhouse that he's building. I think it's looking absolutely amazing. And I can't remember the name of the farmhouse or name of the family that lives there, but it's it's looking fantastic. He's doing a great job. Make sure you go check out his channel because uh, he's definitely somebody that I re I've always really just enjoyed playing with. So. Um, there. Let's get this. Yeah, this is looking really cool. Um, now we, I did have in the design where right in the middle, so like right here, we had these, the brick stairs as well. Whoops. I think I did that same thing on the other side. We will leave that be for now. Um, you know what? Let's do this and see. Okay. So this was going all the way across. Like so, right? Yeah. And then on top, the roof line. I want to mimic the roof line of that build as much as possible in, in the uh, customs house as well because the my idea is that the same general design was used for all of these and these were mass built um, to try and bring in new people uh, even though the witches are a thing so And we're just going along, having a grand old time. Okay, so then, 
do I? I have one more. It's going to be a close shot. We may, what we may end up doing is actually lowering this, this uh, part down here. Because I don't think we'll have enough slabs. Oh, well, we may. We may. It, it will be close. Oops. Okay. I don't think she had a little part there. I think it's just kind of we might we might have whoop. okay. I guess we wanted to come down here then. I'll just jump out real fast. Okay, do we have I'll just use grass blocks because that's how I roll. Okay, so same basic concept, um, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do is actually uh, lower down the, uh, the slabs a little bit and the amazing part is we've got dark oak wood out the wazoo so we don't have to worry about that I, I made an entire shulker box full of the stuff so there we go and come back come back here what are you doing okay yeah, what I think I'm going to do is take away that big, th thick block there. Because it's not really going to help the, the case any for this uh, this roof. We'll see how this looks. And you know what? We're, we are going to go up one. Okay. Oh, okay. I am really good at <laughs> staying up on roofs. Oh, gosh. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, you get the basic gist of the house. It's going to have a second floor on the inside, but it's very generic. You know, uh, there's there's some depth and everything in it, but it's a very just generic house, and that's the whole point of these. Now, the front doors are going to be different. You know, we're going to have different base designs and everything. Uh, the main reason is to keep realism in this city. You know, we're you're you're gonna have very similar houses, um, but uh, they they're gonna be different in their own special way. So that's kind of the idea of these houses. You know, they're they're pretty much the same. But they're different enough to where you can tell which one they are. All right, guys, the sun is setting, and I think that's about all the time I have left. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that sub button and also hit that little bell right next to the name for notifications uh, to get notified every time I put out a new video. So thank you guys again, and I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.